back now with the debate at the desk. The parents <laughs> who could get stuck with a $132,000 bill after their son accidentally damaged a work of art. Surveillance video showed the boy hugging the statue before it toppled over. TJ is here with the story. All right, every parent has said to their child in the store before, don't touch that. Because if you do, mom and daddy got to pay for it if you break it. Well, if you mm -hmm. don't break it, or you break it, you buy it, also applies if what you broke costs 132 grand. Ooh. That's what the parents are being told, but they counter with this. Who left this expensive thing sitting out in the first place? Mm. What's the music? This <laughs> is the moment that could cost a Kansas family more than 100 grand. Sarah Goodman and her family were attending a wedding at a community center in Overland Park when her five-year-old son goes in to hug a glass statue and it topples down on top of him. He could have died. But instead of an apology, the Goodmans got a bill for $132,000. No one would ever expect to come into a place where kids are invited and have to worry about a $132,000 piece of art. The center's insurance company sent the family a letter reading, you are responsible for the supervision of a minor child. Your failure to monitor could be considered negligent. I was surprised, more so offended to be called negligent. No one ever said, is your son okay? He ran in fear. I cannot believe that they allowed something so dangerous to be where kids play. Goodman says the Aphrodite to Kansas City wasn't secured, but the city says it shouldn't have been touched in the first place. It's not an interactive piece. So when you have you know somebody climbing on it, that's not what it's built for. This is not the first time we've seen touchy-feely patrons send display art tumbling down. Just last year, a student knocked over 11 sculptures while taking a selfie at an LA museum. Three of the sculptures were destroyed, totaling $200,000 in damages. The museum did not ask for payment, though. Okay, <laughs> look, some parents will look at this and say, watch your child. On the other hand, I have nieces and nephews that will come to my house, and I'll put some things up knowing I'm not going to let that child right. try to break it. So Which you got ones? two Which sides. Ones? Okay. <laughs> Dean, I'm talking to you. <laughs> Ooh, you threw him under the bus. Look at this sweet face. Yes, Aww. but and she knows, and some people know, but still, the, shouldn't they have an obligation if something costs that much, put a rope around it, have security nearby. Mm. Something Thank is the you. argument I that someone I think Thank both you. sides are responsible because because as a parent, yeah. I never let my kid out of my sight anyway to go over and touch anything. Yes. And you said when you tell your kids, don't touch that. No, no, my parent told me before I walked in, if you touch it, you know what's happening when you get it. home. <laughs> so I didn't, I didn't touch anything. No, no, you softened this because everybody here knows what he was saying in the commercial break. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, now. He, he did that for you, Sabine. Yes. She's got a pit bull hat on. From last week. From Friday. Yeah. Had a good time at the concert. You were good to daddy on Sunday? Yeah? Uh, she's, yeah. She's, 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 we'll be right back. We'll be right back. You're beautiful. Happy Father's Day, you guys. <laughs> well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.